Dragon's Dogma 2, how to unlock the best secret blacksmith in the game. Now you cannot start this until you get to the capital and you do the mission where you confront the guy that is pretending to be you and you have to go into the palace. After that, then you can start this. And that will be in Bornworth and that is where you also start the side crest. So you want to make your way there, make your way up all of the stairs up to the palace and you're looking for a guard and you're looking for the one that is right here behind this one so you want to talk to this guy and then he will tell you that he wants to talk to you in private you will need to follow him and then he will say that he has a sword that he needs fixed and he wants to give it to you make sure you have it inside your inventory and you want to go to the arms dealer that is in the same place so we are still in Bornsworth and you want to talk to him you will give it to him and then he will say that he can't fix it but then he will send you to back Bethal, and you need to go and talk to the guy that's here and it will be marked on your map so this is the guy once you talk to him he will tell you that he's not in business anymore and then give it back to you but on your way out you will get a cutscene and you will need to talk to the apprentice she would then tell you that she wants to talk to you in private. You need to wait until he leaves, which will only take about 10 seconds, and then go back and talk to her. And then she would tell you that you need to go get some glimmer coal, and you need 15 pieces, and it will be marked on the map. So you need to make your way over here, and I am going to show you guys a shortcut. So if you start off at the path that's at the front of Bakbathal, you want to follow this path that goes to your left, and you want to climb up. So there will be a spot that you can climb up and you're just going to hug the cliff all the way over and that is a shortcut and you will be here. When you get inside you want to look for all the pieces that are shining. So those are the pieces and you need to get 15 of them. So just go all through the cave until you get 15 and then you want to make your way back and you want to give them to her. There will be another cut scene where the guy says he's still not going to do it but then she will tell you that she will try to do it and you can give her the sword so we're just gonna give her the sword after that you will need to wait two days so just sleep two times or you can just wait on a bench eight times and that would be two days we're gonna go back she would then tell you that she needs more time so you just wanna go sleep two more days or wait on a bench eight times and then go back to her once again once we go back then the main guy will tell you that she is missing and that you need to go find her and it will mark a spot on the map and you want to make your way over to that location so this is the spot that we need to go to over by the volcanic island camp now this has very strong enemies but you want to make your way through it until you get to her and this is where you will find her at the end of the cave or in the middle of the cave she will tell you that you need to help her make her way outside before it gets too cold once you get outside you need to go back to back Bethal. once you get there there will be another cutscene and then it will say several hours later and then there will be one more cutscene when you go and talk to her and she will give you the blade and it will be fixed now if you wait two more days so sleep or just wait on a bench eight times and make your way back you will now be able to buy stuff from her and get some good upgrades and she has some of the best weapons in the game and the best upgrades and some of the best armor but there you go guys i hope you did enjoy this video and i hope i was able to help you guys out talk to you mofos later